Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm actually going to cover some Linux commands which can get you hardware information and some detailed information about your hardware. I know that this, this is a little offbeat because not many people would be using these in today's times because cloud has done so much of abstraction for you right on the hardware level. But this actually makes up for a very good uh, topic. Uh, when you're taking interviews right for say system administrators or devops engineers so to just to start with you can gauge whether a person knows the core of linux how to get some information hardware related information uh, a few of commands uh, which i'm going to use are actually not going to work on the system because i myself is also using an ec2 instance linux ec2 instance so those commands are actually not uh, available on this sorry amazon linux i'm using amazon linux and a couple of commands are not available on Amazon Linux. Uh, so that's that's there. But I'll show you the command. I'll give you the command. Uh, in case if, you are, if you're running uh, CentOS 7, I think they should be uh, good with CentOS 7. Uh, call me lazy. I wanted uh, a Linux system. I could have done CentOS 7, but I was just lazy. So I just did next, next, next. And Amazon Linux came up. And I was just too lazy to go and terminate it and launch us into a seven machine. All right, so star apa. I mean, yeah, we're done with talking now. Let's get into the, the things. So the first command which I I normally ask in interviews is how do you get kernel information in Linux? And the basic command to do that is just uname, right? And if you do simple uname, you just get Linux. But if, if you need kernel information, you need to do uname hyphen a. And that gives you kernel version, your uh, architecture and stuff. And if you only want the architecture, you just need to do uname hyphen M and it gives you your architecture. Uh, in order to list your, I think, PCI devices, there's a command called LSPCI. So this lists down all your PCI devices. And if you want to go a little more verbose, you can just pass in the options of triple V and it will give you very verbose uh, output. Let me clear the screen. Uh, next command is which is not available is LSHW. So this is not available on Amazon Linux, but this also gives you uh, the information about all the attached devices to PCI bus, right? So all and it's an all in one view. Uh, I don't have a screenshot. Otherwise, I would have shown you. So that's one command and the other command which is not available is hwinfo. Yeah, that is also not available. Uh, and this also gives you, I think this gives you a short version of what you call LSHW. So it gives you uh, output in a very brief manner. Uh, the next command which I'm going to show you is DMI, uh, DMI decode. So gives you a lot of information about BIOS, uh, but if you want to say sort out some information, say I want to get information about processors, so I can do DMI decode hyphen T and processors or procession processor. And you get information about your processor and same thing you can do with memory as well. to information about memories. But I think this is not very useful information. Uh, I remember writing one script where I used DMI decode to basically extract, uh, I can't remember what information was that. I think it was BIOS version or something like that. Uh, the next command is when you, if you want to list all the USB devices is LSUSB, which is not available on Amazon Linux, but it is should be it should be there on uh, normal Linux CentOS seven. It should be there. Uh, again, if you want to list down information about CPUs of your machine, I think there's a command called lsc cpu. Yeah, so you can get information about your CPUs over here, and there's one more command to list down the SCSI devices, which is LSCSI, which is again not available, but uh, there, I mean, you can list down all the SCSI devices, right? Uh, 
moving on uh, the message I hope you must you guys even if you are a Linux system administrator you must have used the message it, it basically uh, gives out the kernel uh, logs right and all the hardware related information suppose you are introducing a new hardware into a system or you are taking out a hardware all that information actually goes into your kernel logs so you can actually fetch that information from your D message I just wanted to show that uh, then coming to a uh, couple of commands which which are actually useful in today's time are also is lsplk so list down all the block devices so, so this is an ec2 instance right so if i go and attach a disk to this uh, basically a volume in terms of aws if i go and attach a volume and when i come back and do an lsplk it will show here that volume would show here and another command is block id so blk id so this gives you the unique id of all the block devices which are connected so for now there's just one so i'm getting the id of that device and this is the same information if you see it goes into your cat let's see fs tab file so you see that this is the same information so instead of putting the device name or block device name you prefer to put the uid of the device right and you can see the same uid is in the fs tab file all right so these are two important commands another important command i hope you must be familiar with if you work with linux system is mount so basically lists down all the file system which are mounted on your system and this is probably a little cluttered uh, input uh, output so i'll just clear this so we can do mount and i can just pipe that to column and with tab spaces yeah so this is much better so this lists out all your mounts on the system again a few commands which you must be familiar with is df which gives you your uh, disk uh, basically the information about your disk how much disk is available what all disks are attached and stuff like that uh, there is a f what you call a temporary file system proc which is there on your uh, system on your machine I mean the most of the information which I showed you earlier like CPU info memory info you can actually extract that information from the proc itself right so let's see how you can do that so for say uh, cpu info i can just go ahead and do cat proc and cpu info i'll get a detailed information about my cpus let's clear the screen and the same thing i can do for mem info you can see the information about your memory in fact it is a way more detailed what you get with free right so free only gives you like what is buffer cache and available and used but meminfo actually gives you a lot more information another command is cat proc uh, what you can do is versions so this gives you your linux version it's the same output which we got from uname hyphen a and the last one i want to show you is partitions partitions so this gives you information about the number of partitions you have on this uh, machine all right so i think yeah that's pretty much it these were the commands so i'll just do a history and i'll put these commands in the description so you guys can go ahead and find these commands in the, from the description of the video uh, i hope you like the video uh, i know this this is not that helpful but still some guys who are still working uh, at the core of uh, Linux right with the core of Linux uh, might be helpful to them uh, I hope you like the video guys please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching